Alright, 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 here we go, back again on the other side of the coin. Alright, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another live stream. Welcome to Chelsea latest news update for you guys. This whole injury crisis, it's it's gone to a different level. It it's It's beyond crazy now. It is beyond crazy. Uh, if you've already missed out on the first live stream earlier today where we talked about, you know, the mystery behind Chelsea injuries, do check that out. Give yourself the opportunity to go and check that out. I didn't think off the back of that particular video, we're going to be talking about more injuries, but that's how the day has panned out. The news has come out that even more players are now injured, something around 10 to 12 players. I think initially nine were reported, but there's apparently more that are potentially injured. What I don't understand is certain players in the likes of Kani Chukamika, for example. Kani Chukamika, ladies and gentlemen, is injured again. Robert Sanchez, our goalkeeper, goalkeeper is injured as well. Um, there's some reports that Chalaba is injured. We're going to make a late assessment on Ben Chilwell as well. Like, I mean, first of all, how's Kani Chukamika getting injured? How is Chukamika getting injured, ladies and gentlemen? Was there any game? Like, I don't even think Chukamika featured for England's under-21. He came back early. I mean, did he come back early because he was injured? Where did he get injured? Are, are some of these players just getting injured walking in the streets? It, it, it's crazy. I mean, check this out. Check this out. Let me let me let me bring this up. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me actually bring this up. Because this is this is diabolical. This is literally diabolical. I mean, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Trevor Chalaba, undergoing rehabilitation program. <clears throat> Kani Chukumika, undergoing rehabilitation program. Robert Sanchez, undergoing rehabilitation program. And also, Romeo Love. I'm sorry, Romeo Love. We're going to get to Romeo Love. Don't worry. Levi Colwell. Levi Colwell continuing to undergo his rehabilitation program. Levi Colwell, I'm pretty certain he was, I think there was a warm-up injury before a match. And since then, he's been injured. What is going on? What is actually going on? Some people are saying we don't know the truth around Christopher and Kunku either. Apparently, Christopher and Kunku is out for the season too. But what's baffling to me is what's going on here. These players, how, how are they getting injured? Because there was literally no matches played. Dexter saying, no, that was um, Aston Villa match. <clears throat> Fair enough. I mean, what, whichever match it was, I mean... What's happened to Levi Colwell now? What's going on with Levi Colwell? Benji, big up to you, my man, bro. When you've when you've been saying all this new come, all this news coming out now, I'm just not bothered to care about care anymore because I've been saying what's going on for time. It's mad. How how is Kani Chukamika getting himself injured when? when there wasn't even any match, are these people getting injured in the training sessions? When did he get injured? Can we get more clarifications, please? Once again, no, no one has asked the big questions in the press conference. No, no journalist is actually saying, when did these injuries happen? When exactly did Kani Chukamika get injured? I was so looking forward to Chukamika's but featuring more. 
It was a top goal from Chukameka against Newcastle just before the international break. And now, God knows, God knows how long Chukamika is actually going to be injured for. God knows. Skylar is saying, Miss, do you think it's the medical staff or the players themselves who are neglecting the proper care they need to take, take for their body? It has to be a culmination of everything. It has to be. It can't just be this or the other. I, I think it's a combination of many things. But what I want to know is when are some of these incidents happening? When are some of these players getting injured? Training, outside of training, in match, what's going on? It's crazy. It's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check this. Let's check out some of the news from Ben Jacobs as well. Check this out. This will blow your mind. This will literally blow your mind. Pochettino actually said this. Maurizio Pochettino and Romeo Lavia. It's a really difficult situation and he's sad. He's only played 30 minutes after joining a new club. When the club signed him, he arrived with problems from Southampton. And then when he was ready, he suffered a problem in his feet. How, how are we signing a player with problems? How has this player managed to join Chelsea Football Club with pre-existing problems? How is the player passing medical? Why are we buying players that have problems? Existing, pre-existing problems. I don't think it's smart. First of all, I, I truly think, look, Romeo Lavi is a supreme talent. There's no doubts about that. But after purchasing Caicedo, I thought purchasing someone like Romeo Lavia was probably a bit too much. You know, we had Andre Santos, we had Chesareg Cassidy. I thought maybe we're gonna we're gonna give them an opportunity. And obviously now we have Gallagher. So why was Romeo Lavia bought? And he was bought with problems. How ridiculous is that? If we knew he's already had problems, why are we doing this transaction? Pochettino adds, Lavia has suffered hip, feet, and quad injuries since joining. Feet, hip, feet, and quad injuries since joining. I, this is insane. It's not just in one area. It's everywhere. Hip, feet, quad. This is, it's difficult to explain because I'm not a doctor. So, <clears throat> Pochettino trying to somewhat cover himself. He's saying, you know, I, I don't know much about it. I'm not a doctor. He arrives and I think he had a hip injury. He arrived, he arrived and I think he had a hip injury. How does one pass medical if they've got a hip injury? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So this is not only about Kani. We have a problem with resting players and have having training sessions about recovering their body. Poch is going so hard with these players so they get injured. I mean, is it is it just Poch? I mean, look at this. Romeo Lavia coming to Chelsea Football Club with a pre-existing issue. We know Nkunku. We know Nkunku had injury issues prior to joining Chelsea Football Club. Was Chukumika the same case as well? I don't know. Then he trained and suffered a knock in his feet. Then he got quite injury against 
Crystal Palace. Now, quad injury against Crystal Palace. Was he brought back in too early? Was he perhaps brought back in too early? And Tokozo is saying reason, FOMO from the ownership in regards to buying Romeo Lavia. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Miss, don't get it twisted. Lavia is not injury prone. He's only been injured when he's been playing too many games. It's only when he's joined he's been getting injured regularly. Well, he didn't, he wasn't. He wasn't getting injured at Southampton, but he did play a lot of games for Southampton at a young age. Now, was that wise to already do that much mileage? But also, was it wise knowing if he's had a problem to then and go still buy him? He apparently had a hip problem as per Pochettino. When Chelsea bought him, bought him with a hip problem. Chilwell had an injury when he had his medical ever since then. I've seen players' medicals at Chelsea. Yeah, it's crazy. Chilwell was also, um, I think when he was bought, he was bought with some level of injury. Now, there's some news in regards to Chilwell as well. Let's have a look at that. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Mauricio Pochettino also confirms Ben Chilwell is a doubt for Burnley due to a knock on his knee whilst on England duty. The fact he started two England games was maybe a surprise for us. Why is he starting two games? I mean, look, in all honesty, first of all, like I wish him all the best and I hope he recovers quickly, but... I wouldn't have started him against Burnley anyway. I, I, I was leaning towards Kukurea. But this guy was injured prior to going to the international break. And then in the international break, he plays two... I'm pretty sure he played two full matches for England. Brazil and Belgium. I think, I'm pretty certain he played 90 minutes. Why? Why is this player who prior to going to international break was already injured, playing back-to-back -back matches, starting back-to-back -back matches for England. And now, he's potentially unavailable for Chelsea. It's, it's, it's all a bit mad. It's all a bit mad, ladies and gentlemen. Hemis, Lavia may come good in the long term. However, I'd have loved it if, we, if, uh, if, we go, if we'd gone for Pelinia. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't think another midfielder was necessary. That's how I look at it. In life, no limits. Big up to you, my man. Big up, Miz. Uh, it goes to show you that purchasing Lavia was just a show of flex. Very unnecessary. I like the player, and I believe he will come good. But come on. Yeah, I mean, now we have to, we have to stay patient. As I said, Romeo Lavia is a is a is a top talent. There's no doubt about that. But he needs to get over the injuries. And then is he going to be able to stay fit? Because if we have another write-off season next season, we need to start talking about some of these players not being able to even give 50%, 50% of the season. William, nothing to do with Poch. We have seen good players getting injuries like the likes of Neymar and Dembele. These, these lads should reduce making love more often. All else, the career will be in doubt. Yeah, I'm not sure about making love is the issue over here. I think, I think one of the issues could be, look, coach might be an issue. No doubts about that. But I think the other issue is how well do they look after themselves? Are they really looking after their body? I think I think that's definitely a massive um, point to research on. I think Chelsea, uh, the latest news at the moment, let me have a look. The latest news is...
The latest news is, ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea have launched an investigation into the consistent injury crisis and are looking for the root cause and what they can do to ease the issue in time for 24-25 season. 100%. 100% we need to do full invest investigation on this matter. Because the number of injuries we are, we are having right now is, is, uh, is not normal. Is absolutely not normal. Now, I, I don't. This is why I was saying earlier in the earlier stream today that I need Pochettino to elaborate on this manner. And I don't want any of this. Or oh, English is my second language, so I can't elaborate. I can't give you details. I think. I think this particular journalist, Rahman Osman. He, he might have asked the question. And off the back of that, Pochettino goes, Pochettino bites back. I don't know. You show me some of the methods of Pochettino. They are so hard. No. I say what? If he didn't train with me, Lavia, yeah, but it's the people who needs to talk. First of all, why is he talking, him, talking about himself in third person? Does he think he's the rock? The rock says this. If my training method is not correct, then shut your mouth and know your role, you jabroni. Like, does he think he's the rock? Pochettino talking in third person. And secondly, what is this waffle? What is this waffle? What's he even saying? I don't even know what, what to make sense of this particular line. I don't know. You show me some of the methods of Pochettino. They are so hard, no? I say what? If he didn't train with me, yeah, but it's the people who need to talk. But, dude, construct, construct a sentence properly. It's not difficult. Yeah. Poch, what do you think? What do you think about the injuries? At your, it doesn't matter what you think, Pochettino. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can't say Lavia played too many games. Saka has played for, uh, played far more games since he was 17 years of age than Lavia ever did in a single season. Other young players have also played more games than Lavia. Yeah, fair point. Tim Averna. Football is not like American sports with their breaks and ads in between. Get proper medicals for football players. Benji, they need to investigate the training methods, medical staff, and the communication between technical staff and medical staff. And also investigate the players too. Investigate the players in terms of what are they doing after the training? How are they looking after themselves? What are they eating? What's their diet? Pochettino says there is actually 10 to 12 out, not nine. And he's never experienced these injuries, injury problems in his 15-year career, maybe only one season. Poch has apparently never experienced this. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. He also goes on to say, Poch says, Burnley will be difficult. They run a lot and are physical and play freely. <laughs> Already laying the foundation. Already laying the smackdown. Pochettino building up the excuses. I'm not sure whether Burnley is physical, you know. I've watched a couple of matches. It's not like they're, they're unbelievably physical side. Yeah, look, every match is going to be difficult for us. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, they do run a lot, but, you know, it's not like they just run for the sake of just running. They press well. And, of course, they play freely. They actually do play freely. But it's got to be a win. It's got to be a win. 100% it's got to be a win. All of these injuries, once again, will lay the foundation for you know, any mishaps if we have. 
any mishaps. Um, if we have any negative results, watch how all of these injuries once again will become a massive, massive excuse. But having said that, it's sad. Like, you know, we never get consistency. For instance, Chukumika. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen Chukumika play three games in a row for us. Christopher Nkunku, I think his season is a write-off as well. I think he's, he's done. It's over. I'm pretty certain we've... When was the last time we saw Reese James play a back-to-back -back game as well? Ben Chilwell again. Can Ben Chilwell... Can Ben Chilwell play a prolonged period of time without getting injured? How's Chalaba getting injured? Chalaba just played. Just before the international break, Chalaba was playing and he was playing all right. How'd he get injured? Are these players getting injured like when, when they're going home, when they're driving, when they're out and about in the streets? How are they getting injured? Milo Kane, I've not been mad or even complained about what most people thought about this American model. But the only thing I questioned was changing the medical team. If you follow basketball, then you know, you know. Yeah, I mean, whole heap of changes. And then the medical team was, uh, was a total, total change. CFC Daily Tweet. All right, let's have a look at CFC Daily Tweet. Important factors when analyzing our accounts. Has sanction allowances been allowed, deducted? Has forced losses of over 100 million when Rudiger and Christensen left for free been allowed due to the sanctions? Wage bill reducing dramatically, altered PSR regulations which favor us. Nobody knows apart from the Premier League and Chelsea. No point speculating and it's even more dangerous when you don't know if the club have been allowed flexibility post-sanctions. I predict a charge, but the club strongly reject they'll fall short. That should be respected too. Yeah, look, I mean, the only way you can fall short is you have to sell. You have to sell big time. Chalaba was undergoing rehabilitation program six hours ago. That has now been changed to partial team training on the Chelsea website. <laughs> are some of these news fake? I mean, are we are we faking injury news as well? Maybe he's fit. Who knows? Maybe he's fit. Totally unexpected. Time for the club to look uh, to block out the noise and go into a lockdown. Oh, yeah, this is in regards to Todd Bowley to be removed as Chelsea chairman in 2027. Look, do you know what? Uh, for me, that's not a news. This was said by, I believe, Matt Law not that long ago. And so what? Like, he, he's going to get removed as a chairman in 2027. Iqbal is going to come in. And then after that, Todd Bowles. They're the owners. They can do whatever they want. How's this a news? Apparently, this is a way how they can get dividends out. If you're a chairman, you can take dividends from the, from the, from the club. What are you going to do? They're the owners. They want to pay themselves. Are we expecting a different chairman from, from, a, from another club or something? I don't know how that is much of a news. James Atwood, let me get this right. We're playing with Desasi and Silva in the center and we'll likely play a high line following an international break. I smell trouble. Rock. That's what I smell. <laughs> if you smell what the rock is cooking. Do you know what? After an international break, 
I, I don't recall things being good for us. After most international breaks, I always recall that it's it's ended up in sadness for us. Was the last international break right after? Did we play Brentford? Or maybe not. But in recent memories, right after an international break, I'm I'm pretty certain we've we've not got the desired result. And look, I'm not. I'm not going to go into this Burnley game thinking that it's going to be a draw or it's going to be a loss. Now I'm, I'm fully, I'm fully expecting a win, fully. Regardless of all, all the injury news, regardless, you have to put Burnley away. I'm done with all of these excuses, man. I'm absolutely done with them. We have to learn from our lessons. With the players that we have, we need to be able to do the job. Kevin K, this feels like a social experiment at some point. What kind of sick joke is happening here? The club from top to bottom is complete shambles. Yeah. From a financial fair point, fair play point of view director's point of view, owner's point of view, manager's point of view, players' injuries point of view. Like it's, do we have one area where we can where we can say, yeah, that that's looking good? Do we have one area that we can say, yeah, solid, solid? Ladies and gentlemen, take, take the moment right now. Smash the like button. Nearly 150 of you guys are here. Take the moment right now. Smash the like button, guys. Get the likes up to 100. If you're here all the time, if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy the discussions, smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe as well. Milo, okay, this is a sensationalism of news. These are what we talk about when people are doing things for clicks. We in 2024, but you are talking about 2027. BS, some of these journalists wasting our time. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Big up at Vade. Good to see you, my man. Big up, Ms. Bro. At least for Real Madrid, I'm particularly scared for this international break. We can't afford any injuries with Man City coming up and league games as well. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. You've got some important games coming up. Absolutely. Let's have a look at some other latest news. Cole Palmer news. Maurice Pochettino on Cole Palmer's lack of England minutes. He is disappointed, but he had a little problem ahead of Brazil. But he had a little problem. It's Cole Palmer. It's Cole, did Cole Palmer also have some injury problem? But he had a little problem ahead of Brazil. I think he thought he'd play the second game against Belgium. But now he's training with us. Look, I'm disappointed as well that Cole Palmer didn't get to feature again, uh, didn't get to feature for England in the international break. I think it would have been nice for him, 100%. But if he was already carrying some problem prior to the Brazil game, which player isn't carrying problems at Chelsea Football Club? It's mad. But if he recovered by the Belgian, look, do you know what? Maybe, maybe it's a good thing that he didn't feature. The last thing we want is Cole Palmer injured. Maybe it was a good thing that he didn't feature for England. Thank God. Faisal, is the 20 million ball he's taking as his annual salary being chairman counted for on the FFP books? Surely it must be. Roman left us debt free and these idiots have destroyed us. That's a good point, you know. In a financial fair play problematic situation is the chairman taking 20 million in wages that doesn't seem so wise to me it really does not seem so wise to me Maurizio Pochettino and Raheem Sterling he's an experienced player now we need to move on we need to make the effort to convince the fans we are in a very good way 
look, I, I definitely, as a fan, I don't want to see our players getting booed. I think I think it's unnecessary. But I get I get why some fans might want to boo. Because when you're doing well, they stand up, they give you a standing ovation. Similarly, if you drop stinkers, and when you consistently drop stinkers, I think the fans have every right to let the player know that that's not good enough. But, look, I think, I think Raheem Sterling will play this weekend. I, I just get the feeling that Pochettino, he, he appreciates the fact that Raheem Sterling's got an abundance of experience in the Premier League, so he's probably going to feature. And if Raheem Sterling's going to feature, I need Raheem Sterling to do well. And if he keeps dropping more stinkers, I think it'll be, you know, his position will be in jeopardy, 100%. You can't continue on like this. This is the month that I need Raheem Sterling to be clutch. I need him to pull together and, and, and get victories for Chelsea Football Club. 100%. Chelsea have added Kani Chukumika, Trevor Chalaba, Robert Sanchez to their injury list ahead of their game with Burnley on Saturday. So for all of us that wanted to see a lot more of Chukumika, well, that's finished. That's finito. Miz, your thought for the 19th position, Burnley, Poch on Vincent Company. He's doing well. He's doing fantastic. How we measure the job is not only about results, but the process and the team's potential. <laughs> that is something you can maybe talk about Burnley. Burnley, their primary objective is to survive in the Premier League. You can talk like that about Vincent Company, And even then, I'm surprised that he's not been sacked as yet. I'm very surprised. Premier League is a ruthless competition. But once again, maybe Burnley are staying, staying loyal to Vincent Company because Vincent Company, you know, got them the promotion to the Premier League. So they're hoping that if, if they do get relegated, which they will, I think, that Vincent Company will, 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 will learn from it and then, and then he'll try and correct that in Championship and come back into the Premier League again. <clears throat> But you can't be talking like that about Chelsea. Pochettino, if he thinks, if he thinks this kind of conversation, if you know, if he thinks that it's right for talking about Burnley and Vincent Company, then it should also be right for Chelsea. No. <clears throat> Two different levels of the club. This type of conversation for Chelsea is unacceptable. At Chelsea, there's a bare minimum standard. You can't be appreciated if you come 11th, 12th. No, I'm sorry. The squad is far better than that. The squad may not be, may not be good enough to win the Premier League, of course. But it's good enough to be at least 5th, 6th, at least. Daniel G, it is just is it just me who feels completely disconnected from Chelsea now? Have we uh, have no ex excitement to watch us? Tired of owners, our managers, injuries, my, mid players. I'm excited for Strasbourg protest on Sunday. Is that true? Stra Strasbourg going through a protest on Sunday? I mean, they they've hit the tipping point, haven't they? They've really hit the tipping point. I hope Madueke and Mudrik start against Burnley. I hope one of Kaisiro and Enzo can get a rest. Palmer should be rested. I mean, yeah, fair enough. If we have to rest players, we rest players. But I need, I need most of our important players to play as many games as possible in this month of April. Most of them, I need them to be playing. We can still salvage something from this particular season, man. We still can. 
John Johnny, Burnley doesn't have the budget, so companies building a youth team to build something for the future. Exactly. Uh, that kind of conversation uh, suits Burnley, not, not Chelsea Football Club. Poch understands levels. Even spuds where were considered top six, man's taking the mick. Rain saying, I'm also disconnected. Um, if you're disconnected, brother, check your Wi-Fi. <laughs> Mr. Rich, breaking news. Chelsea spends $2 billion on kids for the next uh, next season. Oh, man. Shivendra, exactly means I agree with your point. Poch mentality scares me for Chelsea. Yeah, the, I don't like, I don't appreciate the way he talks. Like, that's not how a Chelsea manager should talk. Milo, can I keep telling you Poch's mentality is washed? Who cares if Burnley are good? You are 11th, 10 games to go. Where is your aggression and your vigor and fight? Always scared of the opponents. No, it's true. This is why I don't I don't tune into press conferences. It's so annoying. It's so irritating. It it always seems like we're the underdogs. It always seems like um it, it's it's a it's a 50-50. It shouldn't be like that. That seems to be the latest news. Uh, I'm going to slowly wrap things up. We're going to take some more final comments. Jay Money, big up to you, my man. Atletico Paranese goalkeeper Bento has been added to Chelsea's list of summer transfer targets and is expected to sell for around 20 million euros. I've got no idea who this particular um, goalkeeper is. I mean, we potentially, we potentially need a goalkeeper, but... At the moment, I'm quite happy with quite happy with Petrovic. Faisal, means if Fofana continues his form, uh, would you keep him as a backup striker next season or keep Jackson as the backup striker if we sign Sesco or someone else? Fofana is better than Breuer for me. I think Breuer is going to get sold purely because of pure profit. We need, we need the money. I don't have any qualms about keeping Fofana as a backup. If he continues in this form, I think he has every right to be playing as a backup. Honestly, he has every right. Mr. Rich, because of the owners and manager, I sold my season ticket and I don't go to games anymore. Wow, that's big, man. That is big. Last but not least, Kuba, we need another international break. It was so nice being offline from Chelsea. Yeah, man. Now, now the pain begins. Now the pain begins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Before you go, please smash the like button. It would be very much appreciated if you can smash the like button. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe. I shall see you guys for another live stream tomorrow. We'll bring all the content as we are building up to the match against Burnley. Um, things are going to get really ramped up now. Lots of matches coming up as we come to the end of the season. It's going to be big. Until next time, everyone. Take care. See ya.